Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's mind today. What is the difference between a code and a standard? That's a great question and one I get very often. A standard is a set of criteria by which everything else is measured or compared. We use many standards in this industry. One of them is NFPA 80, the standard for fire doors and other opening protectives. The standard doesn't tell me where I need to use a fire door or what the rating needs to be, but it does tell me if you need a fire door, it needs to look like this and act like this, and the hardware requirements are as follows. And then the code is going to tell me where I need a fire door and what that rating needs to be. And if there's any exceptions to the standard. Other standards that we use in this industry, NFPA 105 for smoke and draft control and ANSI A117.1 for making buildings accessible to meet the requirements of the Americans with Disabilities Act are just a few that are referenced by our codes. A code is something that is adopted into law, either in whole or in part by a state, a city, or other jurisdiction. The International Building Code, the IBC, has been adopted in various versions throughout the United States. And you can find which edition on iccsafe.org. It's a great website, a very valuable tool. Also, NFPA 101 is the life safety code. It's used pre predominantly in healthcare and government work and in schools. And some states have adopted it outright. You can find that on codefinder.nfpa.org. By virtue of being referenced by the code, the standard then becomes part of the code. For example, in the International Building Code, Chapter 7, 716.5 says, fire door assemblies and shutters shall be installed in accordance with the provisions of this section and NFPA 80. So look for those references. They will also say which year of publication those references are. And that's very important information if you're trying to look something up, either to answer a question for an architect, an owner, a contractor, or anybody that's trying to help in the built environment. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Asa Abloy Academy by clicking on the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. And you can follow me on Twitter at Art Consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. If you have a code question or if you'd like to see one featured in a future episode, you can email me at katherine.flower at asaabloy.com. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower. And my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.